Hey everyone, so in today's video, I will show you how to grow lettuce hydroponically indoors. And for this, I'm using a cheap hydroponic setup that I've built myself. Uh, so yeah, as a part of this video, we'll take a look at how to build this system. Then in the second part, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at how you can grow the seedlings and then transplant them to this hydroponic system. And in the final part of the video, I'll talk a little bit about uh, the first week care after the transplantation and uh, the steps that you need to take care of in the subsequent weeks. So it's been around a month or maybe a month and a half that I had transplanted the seedlings into the hydroponic system and the results could look quite good. Uh, so I'll be keeping this for maybe a week more and then uh, we'll be taking the harvest. Uh, so along with the lettuce, I've also grown, uh, tried growing broccoli. It's still in a growth phase. Uh, I think it should take a while for this thing to grow. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, the results have been pretty good for me. Uh, and that's why I thought sharing this uh, in a video. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at the building part of the system. So uh, for the base, I've used a tub that I got locally and uh, this is a normal tub that is deep and it's quite large. So those are the two factors that you need to consider while buying a water tub that it should be deep so that the roots can uh, spread out properly and uh, it should also be a bit large in size so that it can accommodate a lot of water in it. And the next thing that we have here is uh, the sheet. So this is an MDF sheet, which is like four or five mm in size. Uh, now there has been a mistake on my side. I did not get a waterproof sheet. So you can st see a little bit of staining over here. Uh, but if you're planning to buy something similar, I would recommend that you go for a waterproof sheet or maybe go for a plastic sheet that's thick in size. And then these are the net cups that I've bought online from Amazon. Uh, along with the hydrotons. Uh, so these hydrotons are like clay pebbles that uh, absorb and uh, absorb water and keep this thing moist. Uh, so that's quite essential. And for making holes in this sheet, I've uh, done a separate video for uh, which I'll, I'll be placing a link in the description section below. So for making these circular holes, I've used my drill machine with a cheap uh, drill attachment and uh, then th this is the thing that I've got and in this you'll be placing the net cups and you need to ensure that the water level is just below the net cup all the time so it should be just below this part uh, when you're actually planting things and then maintaining the hydroponic system and uh, now comes the main thing that's uh, required for a hydroponic system uh, it's this air pump so I'm not using anything fancy here uh, for the air pump I'm using an aquarium pump uh, which does the job pretty well and it is running into the tub uh, from a hole that I've made over here and then this is where it starts pumping in the air so let me quickly turn it on so that you can see what's happening inside so this is how it pumps air in the system and uh, this is kind of essential for a proper hydroponic setup. And uh, there's one important thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, it's about this hydroponic solution. Uh, so ma for making this, uh, I've used a hydroponic nutrient that I bought from Amazon. Uh, it comes with a detailed guide on how much quantity you need to mix with uh, plain water. Uh, so I'll be sharing a link for that and all you need to do is follow the instructions from that to make the hydroponic solution so that was pretty much it for the build part if you have any questions around this then you can post them in the comment section below and uh, i will respond to them as soon as possible so now we'll take a look at the seedlings part so this is the part where uh, we'll be growing seedlings separately uh, so that they can be transplanted to the system uh, once they get some true leaves. 
and for growing the seedlings uh, here's what we need uh, so what i have here is a normal tray uh, this one is a vegetable tray that i got from a local supermarket uh, but i'll be sharing a link for this uh, so that you can buy it online and then i have these uh, grow cubes so these are made out of foam uh, it's not rock wool but uh, it's a great alternative for rock wool uh, so this is something that I have and over here I have uh, good quality lettuce seeds. Uh, so this is something that I got from Amazon. So I'll be sharing links for this as well. And, and then this is the hydroponic solution that I've prepared by uh, mixing hydroponic nutrients in plain water. Uh, so yeah, this is something that you would need. And finally, uh, I've got a moist cloth here. Uh, which I will be using to cover this uh, grow cube bar uh, maybe for a day or two until the seeds start germinating. Alright, so let's begin with the actual process of uh, placing the seeds and germinating them. Uh, so here are the lettuce seeds which I'll be placing in the, in the grow cube below. So I'm going to pause the video for now because it's difficult for me to do it with these gloves on. But I'll be placing one or two seeds in each one of these holes below. And now I'll be placing this moist cloth that I had shown earlier. And uh, we'll keep this tray away in a dark place for uh, maybe 24 or 48 hours. And in between if the, uh, if the cloth goes dry, I'll be moistening it with water. So let's see the next steps after 48 hours. So two days are over now. Let's check the status of our lettuce seeds. So I can see something going on here. Uh, I think the seeds have started germinating. Uh, now for the next few days, we won't be covering this uh, block with, uh, with the cloth. So we'll keep this away and uh, for the next few days i will be spraying this block with water um, like twice a day uh, maybe once in the morning and once in the evening uh, so that's just to ensure that the block uh, remains moist all the time and uh, provides a good medium for the seedling to grow so these are the results after 17 days and if you can see the true leaves have already developed so now is the right time to move this to the hydroponic system. Uh, so I'll be taking each grow cube out and we'll be placing it in the system that I've built. So what we'll do here is separate each block of this grow cube and then place it in the net cup. And then we'll place this net cup in the hydroponic system. So I'm going to pause the video until I place all of the uh, grow cubes in this hydroponic system and then I'll be adding in uh, the hydroponic solution in this and we'll keep the level uh, just below the net cup and after every two to three days you need to ensure that the water level is up to the right mark and uh, this will ensure proper growth of your lettuce. So I've moved all of the net cups to this hydroponic setup and now for the next 30 to 40 days uh, i'll just ensure that the water level stays just below the net cup and apart from that i will also be installing the air pump since that is a critical component of uh, the hydroponic setup so that's it for this one guys uh, towards the end of the video i will show you what happens after 30 or 45 days but uh, this was pretty much the process of growing lettuce indoors uh, so if you have any questions about this process or any questions about the products that I've used in my video, please post them in the comments section below. Uh, so thank you for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel.